More than one billion people worldwide earn their income from agriculture, working steadily to increase productivity and their standard of living. But farming brings risks that can undermine or even eliminate gains hard won in the fields. From manual labor to machines, dangerous chemicals and unsanitary workplaces, farming families struggle with dangers at work and at home every day. But there's a wind of change coming. In 1992, Dr. Ton That Kai of Vietnam and Suyoshi Kawakami of Japan had an inspiration, a way to help farmers make their workplaces and their homes safer, simply, inexpensively, and using local materials. Now, nearly 20 years later, the Work Improvement in Neighborhood Development program called WIND is transforming lives and influencing national occupational safety and health policy around the world. The vast light and space of the Mekong Delta is the gateway to Vietnam's rice basket. Half of the country's annual harvest comes from here. But new technologies and traditional ways are colliding in the Mekong Delta with consequences for the health and safety of the farmers who work the rice paddies. Yes. Wind trainers like Tran Thi Han helped rice farmers create simple tools to protect their health and keep productivity high. Wind showed how to build safe storage lockers for dangerous chemicals. I'm very satisfied about this. It's much safer now, and especially because it helps prevent children from reaching the pesticides, which are very dangerous. Wind also taught farmers about safe waste disposal. Now empty bottles of pesticides are disposed of in a safer place, far away from children and animals. Before we found out about the wind program, we were not so sure about just what was dangerous in our work. For example, after I sprayed the rice field with pesticides, I just threw away the empty bottles in the field. Sometimes the bottles still had pesticides in them. Wind has increased the farmers' awareness of occupational health and safety issues in agriculture, but more importantly, it has changed their attitude. They understand they can improve their working conditions by using simple things. It is something they can do by themselves. The simple but powerful wind approach in agriculture has made a deep impact in Vietnam, where it has been adopted at the national policy level. We recognize how effective the wind approach is. That's why we have included the wind training in Vietnam's National Occupation Health and Safety Program. And the government of Vietnam has allocated a budget to support wind training activities. The wind of change isn't just in the rice paddies. This family home is now run by the book. Ms. Hong, a wind trainer, is using a key wind technique, a picture book to tell the story of how to make the home more organized and safer. We use the wind ideas to rearrange our kitchen and the workshop. Now everything is much more tidy and it is very easy to find things. It helps us save time. Even though some of these improvements are very small, they really change people's attitudes about their own living and working conditions. Because they do it themselves, it encourages them to keep improving. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, large-scale collective farms in the Kyrgyz Republic of Central Asia were split into thousands of small private farms. Many of the new farmers had no experience and the rate of accidents was high. It's really dangerous. This is after all a horse. It's not a car that can be lifted up onto a jack and will stay there. We built this town ourselves after the wind seminar. 
When the collective farms collapsed, we forgot about safety at work. We simply could not think about it. And now we have made this stand and we earn a living by shoeing horses. A working group was set up, which included all the social partners, the trade unions, the Minister of Agriculture, the state laborers, inspectors and employers. Together, they developed the Kyrgyz National Program on Occupational Safety and Health in Agriculture. The WIND program formed a key part of this national program. Wind trainers were sent out into rural areas, giving farmers simple tools to make their work safer. A key to the wind approach is the equal participation of men and women. Whole families came to the wind seminars at the town hall. Eventually, the wind program was included as an integral part of the Kyrgyz government's national occupational safety and health in agriculture policy. The simple technical program suddenly was a starting point for a broader political process run by the Ministry of Agriculture and involving hundreds of people. The approach is now being implemented in other countries in Central Asia. I think the wind program is very useful. Farmers have started to think of protecting themselves. It's all about adopting safe work practices. Life has taught us that one person can do nothing alone. When all villagers solve a problem together, we call it Ashar. Together we have built a bridge across a small river and we've made a dam. Now 80 households can use this water to irrigate their gardens. Growing vegetables need water a precious commodity anywhere, much more so in a desert country dependent on rainfall and prone to drought. Most vegetable fields are watered by hand, by carrying bucket after bucket from the well up a dirt slope and back again. It's time-consuming and it's easy to get hurt. Wind is just getting started in Senegal, but the first results are already visible. After meeting with a wind volunteer, the farmer used a simple wind idea taking some sacks of sand to build steps. Now the path down to the well is safer. It's not as easy to slip and fall. This simple solution lowers the risk of accident and injury. And because getting the job done doesn't take as long, so farmers have time to do other work, increasing their productivity. <laughs> Another simple wind tool, the checklist, helped Isa Ka make even more safety improvements to his own well. He's built a protective fence around it to keep farm workers, children and animals safer. People recognize themselves and their situations in the pictures we are showing them. They were having accidents at work and getting hurt. The wind methods offer a simple and inexpensive solution to a big problem. Emboro's okay. mayor agrees, and he's convinced the wind approach could work all over the region. Knowing what I already know about wind and its advantages, I think this project should be known by all my colleagues, the other mayors in other towns. I will fight to make sure all mayors find out about wind so they can implement it in their own communities. Here's one of the most common problems in the region and one of the most dangerous. This circle of stones in the corner of the courtyard is the family toilet. The threat of disease is a daily reality. Before, people used to go to the toilet and the trees or inside the courtyard somewhere. Since I built this toilet, it's better for everyone and it's much more hygienic. It's closed, it's clean, there are no parasites, and I disinfect it every morning. 
en, en principe, il n'y a, a absolument, absolument pas de parasites, quoi. The new toilet isn't the only difference. The family wow. rebuilt their kitchen and put in a window for ventilation. The inspiration came from a special visitor from a faraway land. Cette cuisine -là, je euh, I built this kitchen after Mr. Kai came here. He's an international expert for wind who came here from Vietnam. His ideas inspired me. Today, our home is more welcoming. We have changed the way we are living for the better. The ILO provides technical support, organizing workshops and bringing social partners together to help develop national occupational safety and health policies that include wind techniques. The experience in Vietnam shows that for developing countries, it takes three elements to implement the wind program successfully. First, you need the support of government, the relevant agencies and partner organizations. Second, you have to establish networks for effective implementation. And finally, encourage the active participation of the local community and of course the local farmers. The wind methods inspire farmers. They understand they themselves have the capacity to make changes, to make their homes and their workplaces safer. I think that's the major achievement of wind.